Boys and girls, man and woman, if you're here to learn scanning, you're in the right place, I think. Because there's many 40 minute videos out there about this, but they are a year old now and they're not mine. So sit your butt down and close your eyes and open your mind. Oh, this is the wrong script. This is for something else. Ah, oh, here it is. Open your eyes and close your mind because you don't need anyone else telling you how this is done. First question has to be why do you want to scan for stuff? It's not the most exciting thing to do and it usually don't pay that good. But if you scan the first day of patches or expansions or whenever NetEase launches new stuff that can be found, then for sure that's the time you should do it. Now the skills that you need. Oh, oh sheep do not have scanning or hacking skills. Yeah, but I had them all right. I just had to put skills into more important matters. All right, guys, stop it. What you need for scanning is 4-4 in space exploration technology and 4-4 at least in hacking skills. I will talk more about data and relic in a bit. The reason for having at least these skills is simple. Without it, it will be like finding hay in a needle stack and it hurts every time you go look for one and when you find it, you won't be able to pick it up due to all the blood. So basically, get scan radius small enough so that you find these sites. Also, you need a ship. All races got scanning ships or two of them. So pick yours that you would like to have or use the Sinesis or go for the SOE ones. You can scan with interceptors and cruisers too, but beware of the success and fail ratio when not having any bonuses. In those cases, even more expensive scanners might be needed and probably some scanning rigs and definitely the skills to 553. There still ain't any pirates in the sites, but always fit for PvP or escape. You don't want to end up dead. Now how to scan. Wide resonance scanners is the blue one. The narrow resonance scanners is the red one. The wide one can detect space anomaly signatures and some objects hidden in space, but not those darn wormholes yet. And the narrow one can detect capsuleers, ships and structures. And if you think that this would work great to hunt players with, then a gold star to you, sir. It's exactly what they're used for. When using this, you need to remember to have fuel with you. Oxygen isotopes works good, but sometimes other fuel are cheaper. So it might be a good idea to keep an eye out on prices. And coming from me, that's a great tip. I'm just saying, keep an eye on those prices. I can't be sure what the ranges are in terms of scan radius for the anomalies, but the smaller scan radius you got, the better. If you're below 100 or 110, I think, then you can scan anything. Unless we're talking about players' ships, because they can rig their ships even smaller. That's something to think about. But generally, you will find most of the stuff with lower than 100. So try to buy faction ones at least. I know they are expensive, but it's not like I'm selling them and making money right now. I'm actually selling other crap that you guys do not want yet, because it's not the meta. Now how to use them is easy. While you are undocked, you just click on one of them and after the timer is done, you will see the result in the top left corner. You will see the star system and somewhat where they are located in the detailed image here. But don't mind that, you should focus on the right window now. Tap on this and you will get a noise and a signal window. The idea is to remove the noises in the left big wave window with the signals from the smaller one to the right. So far, so good. What some might find hard is to know what signal to use. And I can't blame you. Even I have issues here because the zoom function, yeah, there is none. But don't worry, you will have a few signals to use before you have to start over. It's not many. And this time will add up. Or if you're doing this in the PvP form, then this time it makes enemies leave before you get there. So learning this process quick is a skill in itself in Eve Echoes. And honestly, this is all about remembering signal forms and being able to see similarities between waves and noises. Trial and error is, in my opinion, the best way to learn this. So after you have selected one noise and used it, the unknown signal will be somewhat cleaned for the next noise to be removed. You will have to do this at least one more time successfully to find the clean signature. Sometimes it's in one hit and others it's in a few. Not me nor the best scanner out there will understand why, but this is how it is and will always be because Netis probably think it's a good idea to not evolve this into something bigger. Now if you fail you can repeat this again and again. But beware of the signal load in the bottom right corner. This is your enemy. If that fills up you will have to wait several minutes to try again. Also to note is that this only affects the specific unknown signature. You can therefore right after try to scan another one without the penalties that you caused with your clumsy fingers. When you have been successful, you can finally see what you found, how far away it is, and also clicking on go will make your ship warp to the location. 
If you're doing PvP right now, this is the time when you should have your Scrabbler and Disruptor ready. If it's not, then be ready to use the data or the relic modules, because it's time for some hacking. Now what kind of hacking devices should you have? There is a few to choose from, but it's all about hacking strength and success rate. Very few sites have strength 1, so I advise you to go as high as possible. You can buy a less expensive one if you got high skills, but I would not even recommend doing this without at least a faction one. Or a tech 9, I don't know, it's all up to you if you want to succeed. You need one with at least strength 4 to be able to open all containers in the game, unless they have released a newer ones with like 5 or so that I don't know about. So Domination, Relic, Analyzer or the Gravedigger one. Some people say that 3 might do the trick, but why do shit hard when you can do them easy? And for the Data Analyzer, you need the Sancha one or the Guest Data Analyzer. The data sites that you can find is HiSec Loco, LowSec Regional and NullSec Central. And the Relic sites that you can find is HiSec Crumbling, LowSec Decayed and NullSec Ruined. That's not important at all, I just felt I wanted to add it. There's also a second way to scan in Eve Echoes. wouldn't you know? Getting your hands on a gravitational wave graph is a different way to find stuff. If you ask me, it uses a more enjoyable way to look for stuff, but they are unfortunately less profitable. And that's mainly because they're very expensive. The loot are okay, and it's even good when a new type of wave graph enters the game. I will play a speeded clip in the background here soon, while I run 10 of the newer wave graphs, so you can see how it looks. I bought 10 for about 400 million each, so 4 billion is investment. <laughs> Okay, remove investment, call it uh, bad life choices. When you use it, this very cool thing appears. Now it is up to you to find the location along this graph. Red is far away, orange and yellow is closer to the green one. Which is the one that you need to find? Alright, I failed, but no worries, I was close enough to get the system anyway. You see, if you find the green one, you will get the colors as well on the constellation, making it a bit easier during this next phase. But you have to excuse me, I know my constellations by memory, this is what happens when you play a game for so many years, you know EVE Online got the same map. Anyway you got two small windows here, the top one shows the region and this is of course Citadel, and the bottom one shows the constellation within that region, this is probably Sorokan. Your job is to find it on the big map here, select it and scan once more. And wouldn't you know it? Here it is. Now click confirm location and before you do anything, do not forget to bring this item that you got from your inventory into your ship. So bring that to the system that you're going to. You can use it right now, but if you get disconnected, your location might be gone. I'm just saying. When you arrive at the system, you quickly dock and you use the item to get the location to warp to. You set destination and then go. Okay, I got a gate in this one. Lovely, this video is never going to end. First off, you need to loot all these cans here. Broken containers is crap, worn containers is better, intact containers are the good ones, but loot them all. After this, you are done. Unless you got a gate, which of course I did. These gates are connected with other areas, so be aware of players, but also be aware of rats in this one. You will need to kill them all to loot even more containers within. Unfortunately, when I did this video, I saw that I have lost this recording, but I have added another one. This is another gate, this was a large one, and that means battleships. So my Vindicator gets very handy to clear this. But yeah, that's right, I did 10 wave graphs the first day they came. And I spent 4 billion and looted around 11 billion, though everything did not sell that day. I ended up with about 8 billion, so about 4 billion profit, not too bad. And now prices are even worse, so I wouldn't buy it today. I hope this helped some of you guys out here in space, and I will see you guys again.